Well, well I thought I'd um, spare you the boring operation. The pun is absolutely intended, but I've just bored that tube out to 16 and a half mil to take the um, the thread, which is going to be done with this. So this is just a little bit of 8 mil bar. I've got a 3 mil bit of <coughs> round tool steel in there. I've shaped that to a 2 millimeter cutter to do the internal thread and just brazed it in from the back there which you can just about see there I think just got a little braze holding it in at the back and that cutter's just 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 formed up on a on a wheel so now I'll get on with threading it that's just a case of bringing the cutter in touching it off zero in my dials Bring it back out. Put a little tiny bit of cut on it. Engage the lead screw and off we go. Switch the lathe off, reverse it, take the cut off. See if we can get a better shot of that. So now the next bit takes ages, what I'll do is I'll get on with it and when I'm a bit closer to it fitting the uh, mouth bit, I'll bring the camera back in and do the last bit. Right, <clears throat> nearly there. That would be a very, very tight fit at the moment, so I reckon another tenth of a millimetre should do it. Right, so that is quite a nice fit. But I want to make it a little tiny bit looser than that. I'm going to, um, I mean, that would be a lovely fit, but I 
I'm just a bit concerned that when I I'm going to be welding these into the um, box section so I'm scared they might shrink a bit so I'm going to take uh, just another little cut off it just to loosen it up a bit just to make sure That's about, that's how I wanted it really, a bit loose. And if it don't shrink, it'll be alright as it is, and if it does shrink, I should still be able to get them in there. Right, I just need to part this off now, and do another seven. say this power cross feed is a joy all right well I made a bit of a balls up I didn't have the microphone on a little bit a bit of um speeded up footage either just before this or just after it basically it's all I was saying in that is that uh, I've got all these made they're ready to go this one I've already welded up because I went straight on to that after I thought I'd talked about what I was doing but the only other thing is as an afterthought I decided to add these little roller balls onto one leg of each of the um, frames that are going under the pedestals I bought these on eBay I don't know they reckon they carry 50 kilos each whether they do or not I'm not sure but uh, four of them should be enough just to trundle the lathe about should I need to but more of that later I'm going to get on and weld this other one up and then carry on now I watched a rolling metal video the other day and he had done a bit of welding but he wouldn't put it up so I thought not that I want to start a who's the shittiest welder on YouTube competition even though I think it's one I could quite easily win I thought I'd show you just how shitty my welding is but it's not structural it's only got all these two bits apart and there's a cleaned up weld look at that marvellous alright next move is to get over to the mill put some flats on these so I can get a spanner on them when they're doing their job and cut them a bit more than in half and just turn the bottoms flat so they just become feet. Let's go over to the mill. Now teach me, trying to take too big a cut. Try again.
Alright, to do the other side, I've just squared it up on the flat on some parallels. I've got a bit more to get hold of it. <coughs> Hopefully, I won't have no more flying about. Banner. That should do the job. Three more to do. Alright, well that's the four of them done. Now it's over to the bandsaw. At last they're done. This is the one that was a bit <coughs> that got slung out the mill. It's not pretty but it'll work. Alright, let's get them in the uh, socket see if they work. Right, well that's them finished at last. Now I've just got to try and get the lathe on top of them. And I ain't got my son-in-law's engine hoist here so I'm going to have to come up with a plan. And I'm probably going to have to get it off and off twice because I'm going to have to drill and tap the holes to bolt the lathe to these. Might be able to do it on the floor, not sure. Oh well, onward and upward. I'll see you in the next one and see if we can get the lathe on top of them.